So here we are learning about speed. This may seem kind of simple, but there are some really good details that we really have to look at. So our main question here for this unit is how can motion be described, okay? And so we're looking at how can we describe the motion of an object, and right now we're gonna just talk about speed, okay? So what is it? Well, obviously it's how fast you're going, okay? It doesn't take a genius to figure that out. However, what we do want to look at, though, is some physics terms here. First of all, it's a rate at which you move a distance, okay? So we're looking at speed, a rate, and a distance. So it's a rate at which you move a certain distance, okay? That's key, okay? We're going to get to that in a second. Okay? So what does it look like when we write it down? Well, you guys know lots of different examples. Um, you could do something like, let's say, 50 miles per hour. You've heard that before. Maybe it's something more like, I don't know, maybe it's 100 kilometers per hour. I don't know. Uh, there could be, I don't know, 2 meters per second. Those are all different ways of writing down speed, okay? Now, the deal is that these have to do with math, okay? If you just say fast or slow... Okay, that's junk because it doesn't have a number assigned to it. That's why math is a tool for us because it assigns a number. Okay, um, the next part about this is that I'm going to tell you, get rid of miles per hour and feet per second. Just get rid of those out of your vocabulary. Get rid of them because that's the American system. Okay. We're going to use the metric system here, and I'll talk more about that later, but we're going to stick with metric units here, okay? So stick with kilometers per hour, meters per second, and the like, okay? All right, so what is speed, and how do I find the speed of an object? Well, it's really quite simple. If we went back to the last one, remember how we had uh, something like one, whoops, where we had 100 kilometers per hour or two meters per second. The units there tell you everything you need to know. Really, all you're doing, we know kilometers is a unit for distance and hours is a unit for time. So really all we're doing is we're saying that speed equals the distance that something travels and, or sorry, divided by the time that it took to do that. That's it. Speed is the distance over the time. So this person here was covering 100 kilometers every hour. It moved one a distance of 100 kilometers in an hour. This one moved two meters in a second. Or it was moving further than that, but it was at a rate of about two meters every second. Okay. Now, this obviously we don't really want to write down. Scientists, we tend to be efficient. Some say lazy, some say efficient. I say lazy and efficient at the same time. And we just abbreviate this S equals D over T. Okay? Speed equals distance over time. It really is that simple. But there is a little bit of a caveat to this. Okay? Oh, by the way, write this down. This is something you really want to write down um, in your essential equation sheet. Okay, and we'll talk more about that later as well. Okay, but anyway, there's some details to this. First of all, there are two types of speed, and the first one is what we call instantaneous speed. Okay, obviously it's speed, so it's how fast you're going, but it's at a particular instant, okay, like that. What is your speed right there, right then? That's what instantaneous speed is, okay? In other words, in the more physics terms, it's the rate at which your distance is changing, okay, at a particular instant, okay? So it's the rate at which it's changing right then, right at that very second. Uh, a good example of this really is what the speedometer on your car reads, okay, or maybe a speedometer on a motorcycle or whatever. Whatever your speedometer is reading, that's reading your instantaneous speed, your speed at that very second, that very instant, okay? So what's the... I wouldn't say opposite of this, but what's a different type of speed? Well, that's number two. That's average speed. Okay? Average speed is how fast you're going over a period of time. Okay? 
So in other words, it's the overall rate at which you move a distance over a period of time. Okay. So how do you find this? Well, if instantaneous speed had to be right at that very second by some sort of mechanical thing, well, the average speed is going to be something we can actually calculate. Okay. All you have to do is, and I'm going to abbreviate this S bar. Whenever physicists put a bar over top of something, that means it's average. So the average speed equals, and here's what we do. We say the total distance traveled and we divide that by the total time. Okay, so you wind up getting something very similar to before, okay, where it's just the distance over time. It's just that in this case, it's a probably a longer distance over a longer period of time. And in this case, you could be going 40 miles an hour and then going 50 miles an hour and then cutting back to 30 miles an hour and then slowing down to a stop. So maybe your average speed is closer to, I don't know, 35 miles an hour even though you were never really going that fast for a particular, particularly long period of time. 